The highest due regard and acknowledgement and admiration to our God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we're always grateful that God has blessed us to remain alive and to have a chance to save our souls. Uh, we do want to greet everyone that's assembled here from, uh, from Rocky Mount and from places far and near. Uh, we're certainly glad that God has blessed us all to be assembled here. As you know, we're going to go into our telecast shortly, but before we do do that, uh, we do want to always ask you to extend us the courtesy of turning off your cell phones or uh, pages that you may have on hand, and if at all possible, try to limit your movement uh, during the making of the telecast. Uh, seeing that we have uh, so many uh, of our foreign uh, brethren here, delegates from uh, some of the foreign countries, uh, we're going to give space to them for a short period of time and ask uh, each of them to give uh, very, very short remarks, greetings to the saints uh, so we can move into the telecast. I'm going to step through them, each one of them, uh, one at a time. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Brother Jose if he, oh, he's already here, good. Uh, we're going to start with the brothers from Africa, uh, Brother John Carbo, if we'll ask him to come up to give a, a few marks uh, to the saints. Greetings, brethren. We want to thank God for this opportunity again to stand before you this afternoon. We are very glad and we have been privileged to witness this 22nd International Holy Convocation. It has been my honest desire to be in this gathering since some years back. A brother gave me some CD plates of our beloved leader and general overseer, Pastor Gino Jennings, and I watched through it. And I became attracted to somebody that talks about the truth. Because one of the things I have been honestly seeking after is to know the truth. And that's why my motto is, you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. So when I heard somebody speaking boldly and confidently about the truth, I was attracted. And you know what? God being my witness, because it has been my honest desire, God gave me the opportunity and privilege to come in contact with this man of God. He made a statement in one of his tapes that how he went to India and some people we are baptized talk about the gods that are in India, that the two million, I will not forget. And I began to admire this man of God. And one of the things that has helped me so far for this short time I've met him, there has been an impartation in my life as I've been watching through his tapes. Something called boldness has entered into me. And the ability to look into scripture has been imparted to me. So I'm really grateful that God, who has seen my honest desire, has given me this privilege to witness this, conv this convocation myself. Not that I'm looking it over the CD plate, but I'm here myself to receive and to drink from what is flowing from this altar. I want to salute you all. And I want to thank you all and the entire leadership for giving us this privilege to witness this program. God bless you. Thank you, Brother John. Uh, we're certainly grateful for him uh, always uh, having the opportunity to be with us. We're going to call on Brother Maurice from uh, Sierra Leone, I believe it is, West Africa, likewise. Greetings, saints. We thank God for such a time like this. We thank God because Africa will soon be the light to the world. I love that. I want to thank God for the general overseer, teacher, guide, the prophet, Pastor Gino Genis. He came to Sierra Leone and he opened our eyes to see what is the truth. And brethren, I want you to know that outside Jesus, there is no truth. It is only in Jesus you can find the real truth. 
Just like what you were saying yesterday, it opened again my eyes because some of us in Africa, we have been preaching this word for years without knowing exactly the truth. But thank God because it is written in the word. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Thank God because Africa is going to be free because we have known the truth and thank God for the servant of God. We love him. Church, pray for us because we are going through some good times, some difficult times. Pray for us that we will continue to stand for the truth and it is only the truth that will prevail. God bless you. All right, Brother Maurice, thank you very much. We certainly appreciate that, as always. Uh, we're grateful for him likewise. Uh, we're going to move across, uh, across uh, the ocean slightly to the uh, east, I believe it is, of Africa, uh, to an island called Mauritius, uh, where uh, our brother, uh, Montfoy, as he would say, Montfoy Sibali, is from. We're going to call upon him likewise. Brother Sibali. Greetings, saints. And uh, it is my privilege today to send the, to give you the greetings of the saints of the island of Mauritius and Rodrigues, and to say how much I am happy today to be with you. I believe the second time here in Rocky Mount, and uh, I thank the Lord for the privilege to have my wife with me. Yes. Every time I, I came to the States for the Holy Convocation, she told me she always wanted to accompany me, but I always told her, when the time comes, God will make a way. And this, she's here and uh, she's enjoying every moment of it. And I wish to thank the church and uh, all the saints for how we are one family, we are encouraging each and every one in this country and in the foreign countries with all the ministers coming here and the pastor doing such a mighty job you can say to bring all of us to the truth of God I wish to thank our leader teacher guide and general overseer pastor Gino Jennings for all the teachings, for all the preachings, for all the hardship he has done for the church, for Mauritius, how we were once in the darkness, but now we have light shining on us by the word of God. And now we thank the Lord for the way of holiness, how we are trying we are working hard to obey the word and pray for us that the church grows we have more coming to the church and just not hearing but understanding and obeying the word of God God bless you All right, that's uh, Brother Sibali from the Isle of Mauritius. Uh, we're going to go to India briefly, where uh, one of our newer brothers is from, uh, Brother Haukip. Uh, I met him for the first time here. Uh, we're certainly glad for him, and we're going to call upon Brother Hikip, uh, Haukip from uh, Northeast India. Brother Haukip. Uh, first of all, I thank the Almighty God for having this opportunity to stand before you. So I am so happy. Uh, representing the whole of the Northeast India. Uh, as we know, India is a, a big country and it's composed of many types of people, religion, culture. Uh, so we, the Northeast India people, we belong to the tribes and we are a tribal people. So we, we are emotional. So when we are happy, we jump like anything. And suddenly when we get angry, we don't want to speak to others. So that kind of nature we have. And even in the context of the oneness full gospel, uh, if any assignment is given to us, we will go immediately and preach. Uh, we don't bother whether it is the right time or not. So we just want to fulfill the commandments of God. So I just want to 
share a little bit about how God has opened the door through First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, please bear with me. Don't think that I'm taking a long time. So I got invitation letter from the church, the First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, bearing the signature of Pastor uh, Gino Zenning, our general overseer. So I'm very happy for that. So I went, after getting the letter, I was uh, sp uh, called by Sister Grace and Lauren informing about how I'm being invited to attend this uh, convocation, holy convocation. So I was very happy. And then after that, I went to the uh, consulate and there I met one friend and the friend of mine who was a student in one theological seminary uh, I told him you must help me I don't know the place please guide me so he told me that I have guided many people but nobody got the visa so anyway since you uh, came in the name of God I'll help you so we went together and on that day the day when I am applying for the visa there were many people I I tell you, from Northeast India and from other uh, society, churches, and so on. So, uh, when my turn comes, I went, and the one who interviewed me uh, did not ask many questions. He asked me, uh, where are you going, and why are you going, and what is the doctrine of the church, where you are going. So, I told them, this is a church uh, who baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. So the member of the church baptized in the name of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ. And the person who took interview to me also told me the same thing that I also belong to the same group. I baptized in Jesus' name. And at that moment, I just shout, hallelujah. <laughs> then uh, many people were wondering why, what happened, anything happened or what? So all are looking at me and staring at me because uh, in the government office, shouting hallelujah, it's very outward. But anyway, I just shouted and he also did the same thing, that man. So we shouted together. And afterward, he said, okay, don't worry, you'll get uh, what you want, uh, the desired visa. So he just approved it and the next day I got it. So I want to tell that uh, I, may be, uh, I may be the first one in the country of India who God visa in the name of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, uh, I just want to share that this is the way how God has opened the way to come and see uh, the holiness of our church and the beauty of United States. Thank you. We thank God always for our brother Hokip. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, and for his testimony especially. Uh, we're going to move along to, uh, to South America, uh, where our brother uh, Alberto is from. Alberto Solomon, I believe his name is, and uh, we're going to ask him to come up at this time and give a few remarks. Uh, mi hermano de Chile? Hermano Alberto. Saludos hermanas y hermanos. Greetings brothers and sisters. Saludos al pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings Pastor Gino Jennings. Saludos a los ministros del Señor que están aquí en la plataforma. Ministers, he greets the ministers. Hemos venido para dar toda la gloria y la honra al único Dios, su nombre es Jesús. Giving the glory to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Traigo los saludos de los hermanos de Chile en el nombre del Señor Jesucristo. He greets the brothers from Chile. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Saludos de mi familia. Saludos de mi familia. Greetings. He greets his family. Y en representación también de los hermanos de Argentina, Ecuador, México, España. I greet you brothers from Argentina, Ecuador, España, Spain, and Mexico. Gracias a Dios que durante este tiempo 
hemos crecido, el Señor nos ha respaldado con nuevos bautizados en agua en el nombre del Señor Jesucristo y llenos con el poder del Espíritu Santo. Aún con luchas, aún con pruebas, aún con oposición, Dios es con nosotros. With the fight, the struggles, God is with us. Ese es el mejor respaldo, es el mejor apoyo que necesitamos, la presencia de Dios con nosotros. It's the most, it's, pray for me, saints. The support of God is what we need. That's, that's all we need. Agradezco a Dios de estar por segunda vez aquí con ustedes. I am grateful to God for being with y'all. Por esta invitación. For this invitation. Para disfrutar de la bendición del Señor de estar juntos en armonía. To be blessed to join with y'all. En un, solo, en un solo espíritu, with the spirit, en una misma mente, with the same mind, en un mismo parecer. With the same message. Esperamos pronto el regreso del Señor Jesucristo. Por una, esperamos pronto el regreso del Señor Jesucristo. We wait for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Por una iglesia santa, for a holy church, sin mancha, without blemish, sin arrugas. Without wrinkles. Una iglesia. One church. Que no se ha mezclado con el mundo. That is not like the world. Ni con las tradiciones de los hombres. Without the transgressions of men. Sino que permanece en la palabra de Dios. With this, with the word of God. Espero que el Señor nos dé la oportunidad de seguir trabajando juntos. I wait on the Lord that we may continue work together. Que el próximo año. The next year, tener en Chile al Pastor Gino Jennings. To have Pastor Gino Jennings in Chile next year. Y a todos year. ustedes también. And all of y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. It's uh, Brother uh, Alberto from uh, Chile, which is Pastor Mir Mano. Uh, we're going to move right into our teleclass at this time. Uh, we're going to ask everybody you know how we do. Uh, again, Sister Ruth, if everybody do stand at this time, and uh, Sister Ruth is going to lead us off in a congregational song. Let us put our heart and soul into this, as always.
Praise everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. This, ladies and gentlemen, is again the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's a pre-recorded program coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue. That's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. Madame et Monsieur, nos salutations de la radio et de la télévision audience au nom de Jésus-Christ. Nous sommes la vérité du dire programme avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Saludos a todos nuestros audiencia de habla hispana, de la radio y de la televisión en el nombre de Jesucristo. Este es el programa Verdad de Dios con el pastor Gino Jennings. We'll ask you to bow with us as Minister John Carbo. Minister John Carbo from Sierra Leone, West Africa, and now lead us in prayer. And so, dear Father, we want to thank you again. We acknowledge you at a time like this. For unto you, O God, shall the gathering of the people be. We thank you for the first church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. As we celebrate the 22nd International Holy Convocation, Father, we want to thank you. When we look down the years past and see where you have brought us today, we want to say thank you. All we see around us today, we say this is your doing, O God. And it's marvelous in our eyes. We want to thank you for your son that you have sent, O God, in our midst. Even though God, our pastor, Gino Jennings, we thank you for your end upon his life. We ask, oh God, that we'll use him as a channel to touch this generation with the power of your word. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for every one of us, oh God. We thank you for the, the mothers of this church. We want to thank you for your faithfulness, for the strength, for the grace that you've given them, oh God. We want to bless your name. We thank you for the men. We glorify your God for making them to stand strong and to stand tall. Father, we bless your name, oh God. We thank you for the churches throughout America, round around, above this world. We want to thank you for your faithfulness for indeed for the truth will prevail and nothing will stop it to God we magnify your name of God fathers we have come again to learn at your footstool may you speak to us oh God may your word gain access oh God may your word gain entrance into us oh God in the name of Jesus mighty God we thank you heavenly father we bless you Lord we acknowledge and appreciate you thank you for your faithfulness as we go back Oh God, our lives will never be the same again. Thank you, Father. May you speak to us, oh God. And we ask, oh God, this hour that our meditations and all that we may think today will be acceptable unto you. Thank you, my Father. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. God bless you. Amen. Once again, for those who are us, you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's a pre-recorded program coming to you from the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue. That's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and he is our general overseer. You're also listening to and watching uh, one of the concluding services, one of the concluding services of our 22nd, our 22nd International Holy Convocation. And uh, this year we're actually convening in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Now you can write or email us for any of the following, a current listing of all our radio and television stations, a list of our church locations both within and outside of the United States, uh, for a listing of biblical literature written by Pastor Jennings, and for the church's magazine, it's called the Truth of God Journal. We're now up to the fifth edition, the fifth edition, and to the public, that's available for 26 US dollars. A cassette recording of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can also be obtained at the cost of five US dollars. Uh, we also have a D 
DVDs, as you know, and CDs of our program available. Before going any further, just like to let you know that uh, today's or tonight's series of programs, today's or tonight's series of programs begins with program number 875. That's program number 875. Now, for those wishing to have the gospel preached in their area, in person, in person, by Pastor Jennings, or if you have questions or concerns about the scriptures, uh, you may send all your correspondence to Pastor, to Pastor Jennings, uh, the address being P.O. Box 7745, P.O. Box 7745, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The zip code is 19101. Once again, if you have questions or concerns about our program, anything that you've seen or heard, uh, why not send a piece of correspondence to Pastor? Uh, Pastor Jennings, our, our P.O. Box address is P.O. Box 7745, P.O. Box 7745, and that's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The zip code is 19101. Uh, you can also uh, call us toll free. Our toll free telephone number to you is 1 888 231 2201. Once again, a toll free phone number is available for you. It's 1 888 231 2201. Our website is up and available for you also. Uh, you can visit us air, there at www.truthofgod.com. Once again, go to the internet. Uh, visit our website. Uh, there's lots of material there to review and messages to hear. Uh, it's uh, www.truthofgod.com. For those who like to send emails, uh, we have an email address for you, and that will be on screen uh, throughout the program also. It's truthofgod at errols.com. Once again, if you want to send us uh, an email, we ask that you make it a short email as usual. Uh, email address is truthofgod at errols.com. Quickly, we'd like to say a few words to our Spanish-speaking listeners. Saludos a todos nuestros radio escuchas de habla hispana en el nombre de Jesucristo. Este es el programa radial, Verdad de Dios, con el pastor Gino Jennings. Esta transmisión llega, llega a ustedes de la primera iglesia de nuestro, de Señor Jesucristo, localizada en el 2431 de la avenida Frankfurt, en Filadelfia, Pennsylvania, 19125 en los Estados Unidos de América. El plan verdadero de Dios para nuestra salvación requiere que usted se arrepienta y sea bautizado en el agua en el nombre de Jesucristo para el perdón de sus pecados y reciba el don del Espíritu Santo, según lo dice la Biblia. Le invitamos a que nos escriba y solicite los siguientes folletos bíblicos gratis titulados ¿Han sido usted de nuevo? Mujeres predicadoras y Jesucristo es Dios Todopoderoso. Una vez más, nuestra dirección es Primera Iglesia de Nuestro de Señor Jesucristo, localizada en el 2431 de la Avenida Frankfurt, en Filadelfia, Pennsylvania, 19125, al cuidado de Pastor Gino Jennings en los Estados Unidos de América. Que Dios les bendiga. Esperamos que nos escriban pronto. That is to our Spanish-speaking audience. Once again, for those who are joining us, you're listening to and watching. I'm watching and witnessing one of the concluding services of our 22nd. It's our 22nd International Holy Convocation. And uh, this year, we're actually assembled in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Uh, Pastor Jenny is about to come forth. We ask you to sit quietly at your television or at your radio. Do not change the channel. Uh, there's a good message coming uh, from the man of God. I now present onto you the servant of God, our leader, teacher, guide. He's the messenger, certainly the messenger of the almighty God, Pastor Gino Genis. <clears throat> Greetings, brothers and sisters. We are again thankful to God for his divine wisdom and his perfect understanding of all things. We thank him for sending to us his servants, the prophets, and his servants, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. <clears throat> As we often say, we bear witness there is no God but one. We thank him for his divine guidance, being God alone, no God with him, no God besides him, no God before him. I'm glad I don't have a God that I need to dust off or brush off or clean up I'm glad I don't represent a God that need my help. <clears throat> we need his help for all things. 
we have been enjoying this conference throughout this weekend thus far. We are certainly grateful for the brothers that have came from overseas and also the sisters, even our sisters, we forgot to mention that have came from the United Kingdom that are here from High Wycombe, England. We thank God for them as well. <clears throat> To our radio listeners and to our television viewers and to you that are watching over the internet, you're again in tune to the greatest program touching religion that has aired in America. Amen. What make it so great? Our objective and the purpose of God are one. That is to call your attention solely to what is written in the book of scriptures. Jesus taught us to search the scriptures. That's right. For in them you think you have eternal life. Right. Then Jesus taught us the error. Not knowing the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Nor the power or the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. Viewers, we want to encourage you to believe the scriptures. Most of you often use the term the Bible. All right. Believe it. Believe it. For everything in there is correct. That's right. It is the only book in the world that scholars have labored to discredit. Mm -hmm. Because God is accurate in his predictions. Yeah. And man go to school for a couple of years and come out a deeper fool than he went in. Mm -hmm. And now he comes out a certified fool. He actually think that qualifies him. The challenge the creator of the world. That's right. This is the arrogance that's in men. You would think the study of science would lead a man to God. Yeah. You would think the study of astrology, studying about Pallades and Orion yeah. and Arcticus. Job is talking about them. Mm -hmm and the chambers of the south mm -hmm. how the prophets talk about it is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth and the inhabitants thereof are as the grasshoppers That's right. you would think studying the things of the world scientists will recognize there is one God mm -hmm. That's right. you would think they would believe such right but they have engulfed themselves in their study. Mm -hmm. And because of their carnal state of being, they rule out the existence of God. That's right. They'd rather believe something stupid, hmm. like a Big Bang Theory, yeah. rather than believe that one source hmm. is responsible for all of creation. That's right. Only God can do something like this. That's right. <clears throat> God is the source of creation. Mm -hmm. But God is not a created source. That's right. Television viewers, it's time now for you to get in trouble. <laughs> Come close to your television. Mm -hmm. You come close and you get your wife and get your, uh, your husband and your youngins. Mm -hmm. Contact your pastor. Maybe this will help him have a sermon today. Amen. The objective of the truth of God is to never deviate from the scriptures. That's right. When you are ready to be saved and ready to be scripturally right, then you tune into this program. This is that old fashioned holiness. That's right. <clears throat> Nothing 
We're not trying to modernize nothing. Mm -mm. You won't find no praise dancers up here. <laughs> you bet not. That's right. <laughs> no. no. You won't find no drunken quartet group here. No, no. You won't find that. No. Mm -mm. You won't find no bling bling preacher here. Oh, no. The only thing we want shining is God's word. That's right. That's it. There is no greater light mm -hmm. than God himself. Amen. To all of our viewers and listeners that are listening in and watching around the world, to our brothers and sisters around the world that are in the prisons, mm -hmm. we have not forgot about you either. That's right. I want to thank you moreover for the hundreds of letters that you constantly send to the truth of God. Continue to write in. Not only you that are in prisons, in the prison institution, but you that are also that are in the prisons of your mind. Right. Uh, we preach to prisoners every day. Mm -hmm. There are some here that were prisoners. That's right. And there are some here that are still prisoners. That's right. Viewer, you're looking at a prisoner. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm a prisoner. You're a prisoner. All right. The church is a correctional facility. Go ahead, brother. Glory to God. Go ahead. Yeah. That's right. God Almighty is the warden. Mm -hmm. The prophets and the apostles mm -hmm. are the correction officers. Amen. The members of the church are the inmates. The inmates. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Now is a blessing because God stopped us in mercy. Yes. Amen. When God stopped you, it's because you were a criminal. That's right. Some of you watching me now say, oh, I ain't never been in prison. You were born in prison. Born in there. Mm -hmm. And you're a criminal. You that are watching me now, you're a criminal. That's right. Well, I'm a Christian. You're a criminal. <laughs> Amen. Hmm? Anytime you break one law mm -hmm. that God said, right. that's a criminal violation. Criminal violation. That's right. That's true. Listen and tell me, viewers, get this. That's true. In the book of Romans, chapter 6. Glory to God. Amen. I want to soak you a little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the book of Romans, chapter 6, we'll begin in verse 13. Listen. Neither yield ye <coughs> your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin. Now, when you are yielding your members to do anything that God say don't do. Don't do. That's an unrighteous act. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So if we commit any act that is unrighteous, mm -hmm. we have committed a criminal act. Criminal. Amen. Crime have been committed. That's right. I want to take my time and soak you a little. Mm -hmm. Let me make an example. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the word of God says, thou should not steal. Right. Didn't it say so? That's right. Preach it. You viewer, and undoubtedly some of you that are here, That's true, mm. go in the supermarket and get that piece of candy from the open bin. That's right. Come on, preacher. Unwrap it with joy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Toss it in your mouth and continue to go up and down your aisles and keep shopping. That's right. While you're just sucking on your candy. Amen. When you went to the checkout counter, you didn't tell them about it. Right. It's not on your receipt. That's right. Mm-hmm. You stole it. Amen. That's right. You're the criminal. That's right. Thou shalt not steal. I don't exempt that little piece of candy, yeah. that little bazooka gum. <laughs> That's right. That's right. God says, 
In Romans 13 and verse 9, thou shalt not steal. Now, I want to take my time and soak you. Yes. Viewers, <coughs> we make the mistake as a people of watering down God's law. That's right. In other words, we reconstruct the law mm -hmm. to make it fit us. That's right. We don't want it to offend us. Mm -hmm. We want it to fit us. Fit. That's right. Viewers, mm -hmm. this is how the devil used preachers. Right. To reconstruct scripture. Mm -hmm. And in their subtle way, move them from the original content. That's right. And integrate philosophy and theology and all type of artificial persuasion mm -hmm. to water down the truth, the truth. That's right. that God Almighty have ordered. That's right. So they try to weaken the commandment. That's right. Thou shall not steal. steal. Mm -hmm. And because that commandment been watered down so much, mm -hmm. your pastor. Reverend Thief. He have his $10 prayer line, $1,000 prayer line, $100,000 prayer line. That's right. And he got you believing the more money you give, then God will do something for you. That's right. That's right. This is how men misuse the Bible. Mm -hmm. There's a scripture that says money answer for all things. That's right. So the devil get in his agent <laughs> and corrupt, corrupt the words, the meaning of God. That's right. That the scripture that says money answer for all things, but yet you have to explain that scripture because all things cannot be bought. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. The apostles. Mm hmm went down to Samaria. That's right. And uh, that was a eunuch. A eunuch. Reading the scriptures. The and mm -hmm. while he was reading the scriptures, the Holy Ghost moved on one of the messengers named Philip. Philip, that's right. Well, I'm drawing I to the chariot. Mm -hmm. Why Why you want me to get close, Lord? <clears throat> Somebody's doing something dangerous. Right. right. Read it. But, what, what could that be, Lord? Reading the scriptures. Reading, that's right. Viewers, do you know it's dangerous to read the Bible? Amen. Let me say it again. Mm -hmm. Do you know it's dangerous mm -hmm. reading the Bible? That's right. Because to read the words of God without understanding mm -hmm. You might step in and make your own conclusion. That's right. Then the devil come along and guide you in a direction that God did not intend for you to go. In the book of Acts chapter 8 and at verse 28. Listen good. Was returning and sitting in his chariot read Isaiah the prophet. He read Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip. Now mm -hmm. it takes God to talk to the messenger. Yes. <laughs> Notice the holy God talked to Philip and told him, draw not to the chariot. And Philip ran thither to him. What? Philip ran thither to him. Viva, glory take God, we are running after you. Oh, yes. You're doing the same thing that the eunuch was doing. Reading. 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 My God, you read so much. That's what made you put women in the pulpit. That's right. You read too much. That's right. You read without understanding, mm -hmm. cause you to bow to three gods. Amen. Too much reading. Too much. That's Too right. much reading made you divorce your wife. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Too much reading. That's right. Amen. Amen. Too much reading made you have an all white church. Oh yes. Too much reading. Heard him read. Too much reading made you had an all black church. That's right. Too much reading. That's right. A lot of reading, but no understanding. Amen. Too much reading got you bowing and praying to a statue. Mm -hmm. Got you tapping your head and your chest and your gut. That's right. A lot of reading. 
Mm -hmm. But the book says, mm -hmm. understand. What thou readest? Run to you. I want to run to you, America. Philip ran to it to him. My God, I want to run to you. And heard him read. I hear you reading. That's right. And we're running to the world. Amen. Because Run. you're reading too much. That's right. Glory to God. Come on, say what the Bible says. Give attentive to reading. Mm. That's, true. That's true. But you got to make that harmonize mm. with, with all thine getting. Get understanding. Get an understanding. That's right. That's right. Reading without understanding is detrimental. Yes, it is. That's right. That's right. Let me show you the danger of reading. Mm -hmm. Let me make an example. Mm -hmm. Jesus came to his forerunner, mm -hmm. brother John the Baptist. Right. And John baptized the Messiah. Mm -hmm. Heavens open up. opened up. And the Holy Ghost or the Spirit of the Living God mm -hmm. descended as a dove. As a dove. And lighting upon, lighting upon them. Right. Then a voice mm -hmm. cried from heaven, This is my beloved son of whom I am well pleased. That's right. Now you do a bunch of reading without understanding. You say, Jesus one. Right. The dove two. Mm -hmm. The voice three. Three. That's right. That's the Trinity. Three gods. That's right. Three gods. That's right. Too much reading. Too much reading. So you've done something that God told you not to do. You add it. You add it. That's right. And if any man. <laughs> God right. told you don't add. Well, I testify. God said don't add don't and take don't away. take away. That's right. You add it. That's right. John said I testify to every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these if things. If any man shall add unto these things. God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. When you add two more gods with the one. Right. There's a plague waiting on you. That's right. That's right. Get Revelation. Revelation. 22 and verse 18. Listen at this. For I testify unto every man. Every man. Every man. That what? That heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. You know when you read, you're hearing something. Right. You're listening to the prophets and the apostles. That's right. Now, here's a warning. Mm-hmm. Take heed. Amen. Viewer, you how you read. That's right. That's right. As you can see, your pastor, he had written his sermon out, but that didn't help him. Didn't he help still him. ended up lying to you. That's right. Take heed. That's right. How you read. That's right. That's right. The scriptures, the Bible, is the only divinely inspired book. Mm -hmm. Now, it wasn't a bunch of men who didn't have nothing to do and was bored from fishing. No, no. Came together and said, I think I'll write a text. <laughs> no, no, no. For the prophecy. They, they didn't do that. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. The word of God says what? For, in 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 21. For what? For the prophecy. The prophecy. Hold it. Mm -hmm. For the message. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. For the message came not. In old times. In the old days. By the will of men. Men but, didn't come along and think, well, I think I just write a Bible. No, no. We ain't got nothing else to do. It's not a natural man in the world will put together a book like this. No, they wouldn't. This book is against man. That's right. Do you hear the word of God talking? For the prophecy came not in old times. The prophecy or the message mm -hmm. didn't come in the old times. By the will of man. By man's opinion, but by man's way of thinking, mm -hmm. by man's ideology, by man's personal views. But holy men of God spake. What kind? Holy men. Holy men. Men whom the spirit of God was in. That's right. Holy men. Now, viewer. Mm -hmm. If holy men mm. speak as they were moved, as they was moved by the Holy Ghost, by the great God, that's right. Then it take a man today. Mm -hmm. He got to be moved. That's right. By that same God. That's right. To interpret, mm -hmm. to explain, mm -hmm. to break down mm -hmm. what is written. We have in the same spirit of faith. Do you hear this? In Second Corinthians four and verse thirteen. We having the same spirit of faith. Take heed mm -hmm. how you read. 
That's right. Take heed. How Listen. Mm-hmm. Take heed. Take heed. Pay attention. That's right. There's a lot of you reading. That's right. You're reading and you're getting happy over what you read. But before you get happy, do you understand it? That's right. Because Jesus said the error. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not knowing the scripture. That's right. No, the- nor the power of God. Just a minute. That's right. See, if I read the scriptures, mm-hmm. but I don't know the power of God, right. then I become ignorant to what I read. That's right. Yes, you will. The power of God is the spirit of God that lieth within the letter. That's Are right. you getting the old That's man? That's right. Go ahead, brother. The power of God mm-hmm. is the spirit of God that's woven mm. into the fiber that's right. of the letter. That's right. Go ahead, brother. To go into the letter mm-hmm. without the spirit mm-hmm. is equivalent mm-hmm. to never opening the Bible up. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. If the spirit of God mm-hmm. is guiding the minister. Mm-hmm. Then God will guide him in the right direction, not to rely on supposition, no. not to rely on no. seminary school trash. That's right. That's right. Did you hear what I said? That's right. You fellas go to seminary school for what? For what? Mm-hmm. School don't make a preacher. No, no. It's got to make a preacher. That's right. That's right. Spending all your money hmm. to take some Bible courses. Amen. Take your money and go shopping. Don't That's you right. know the country is in a recession? Amen. Take Amen. your money and pay your light bill. That's right. Buy some milk for your baby. That's right. What? Glory to God. For what man? Listen. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. What man? Knoweth the things of a man. Do you hear that? That's right. What man know the thing of a man? Save the spirit of man which is in him. Save the spirit of man that's in him. Even so. Even so. The things of God. The things of God. Knoweth no man. No man. Now to my seminary school fellows that are watching. Mm-hmm. You have your PhD. That's right. You have your DD. Mm-hmm. And now you are taking extended courses. Amen. You drop the title bishop, pastor, yeah. elder, mm-hmm. minister. Mm-hmm. So some nut can call you doctor. Doctor. That's right. If you're a doctor, why can't you perform divine surgery? That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Now, a heart surgeon, he got to know where to make the incision. Yes. And he got to know what instrument to use. That's right. That's Are right. you listening to what I'm telling you? Go ahead. The preacher is a divine scriptural surgeon. Mm-hmm. That's right. And they have to know exactly where to cut. Where to cut. That's right. The prophet. Go ahead. And they have to know where to cut mm-hmm. the apostle. Go ahead. So it can be rightly, rightly divided. divided. That's right. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. When he cut the prophets, mm-hmm. it can't weigh more. No. Than the apostles. That's right. You have to rightly, rightly divide it. Mm-hmm. Glory to God, get what I'm telling you. That's right. He got to be a divine surgeon. Mm-hmm. Using the scriptures, right. he must be a divine chemist. That's right. That's right. Knowing how to mix mm-hmm. scripture. Mm-hmm. Where the words of the prophet is never in contradiction with the apostles. That's right. But the word preached. Now listen to what I'm about to tell you, mm-hmm. hard head. Go ahead. Anytime you come out mm-hmm. reading the Bible mm-hmm. and yet you have a belief mm-hmm. and that belief is not according to the Bible, Bible. Mm-hmm. you don't know how to mix scripture. That's right. The purpose of the Bible is to run the whole church. Yes. Amen. Why you listen to what I'm telling you? That's right. The entire body of Christ. Mm-hmm. Is to be ran by the scriptures. Amen. Let me say it again. Mm -hmm. The rules, regulation, Mm -hmm. statute, law, 
That's right. The entire setup mm -hmm. yes. of the church is to be governed right. by the scripture. Same Don't Lord. you hear Same Isaiah Lord. talk about Jesus mm -hmm. and said the government shall, shall be upon, upon shoulder. his shoulder. Shoulders. In order to have a government, you got to have law. That's right. To govern that body. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Now, viewers, what law? It's govern your organization. Amen. Many of your organizations have a rule book, a disciplinary book. Nothing wrong with that. Right. As long as those rules right. mm -hmm. don't contradict the Bible. That's right. Those rules cannot contradict the letter. That's right. Those rules must coincide with the letter. With the letter. That's right. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. How you read. Mm -hmm. Take heed. When I read the word of God, mm -hmm. I should not come back with a lie in my mouth. No, you shouldn't. That's right. When I read that Deborah was a judge, yes. I shouldn't come back and say Deborah was a bishop. It's a bishop. Right. No, you shouldn't. That's right. That's, that's reading too much. Amen. Amen. You don't have no understanding. No understanding. When I read that the Apostle Paul laid hands on Timothy mm -hmm. and told him, do the work mm -hmm. of an evangelist, mm -hmm. I shouldn't come back and say Timothy was the first bishop in the church. No, no you shouldn't. That's right. I got the stick. That's right. Glory to God, are you listening to what I'm telling you? In the book of Luke chapter 8 and verse 11. You got to stick to what's written. Right. Now, the scripture says this, mm -hmm. the former treaties. Mm -hmm. Have I made? Have I made? Oh, Theophilus. Oh, Theophilus. Of all that Jesus. Of all that Jesus began, began both to do. Both to do. And teach. And teach. Not only did he teach the apostles, mm -hmm. but he demonstrated things okay. to them. That's right. Want to make sure they get the teaching right. That's right. Both to do. And teach. And teach. He was a doer and a teacher. Yes, he was. That's right. When he taught something and you have to know how to get it done, he showed you. Amen. Both to do and teach. Mm -hmm. How long did he do it? Until the day in which he was taken up. Hold it. He was teaching them mm -hmm. even when he was going up. Until the day. Right. Until the day. In which he was taken up. Until the day. That's Once right. you hear the apostle say, he go, we got to pull off this tabernacle mm -hmm. as Christ has showed, showed me. You. That's right. So the change was a lesson. Mm -hmm. Letting right. the church know we're not going to remain the same. That's right. But we shall be changed. Be changed. That's yes, right. Until the day in which he was taken up. After that. He threw the Holy Ghost. What did he do? Had given commandments. Wait a minute. How did the apostles get the lesson? He threw the Holy Ghost. How did they get the lesson? Through the Holy Ghost. Why are you in seminary school, Mr. Reverend? That's right. Go ahead, brother. Many of you that's watching me now in Africa, mm -hmm. Europe, Argentina, mm -hmm. Malaysia, yeah. China, yes. Japan, Cuba, Canada, throughout the Soviet Union, yeah. thousands of letters I get mm -hmm. from ministers that send me copies of their credentials. That's right. PhD this, DD that. Mm -hmm. Atomizing to me their study course. Right. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Right. All you did was send me recycled trash. That's right. That's right. Do you have the Holy Ghost? That's it. That's it. That's right. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Since you believe. Since you believe. Have you received? If you are a believer, mm -hmm. do you have the Holy Ghost? Do you have the Holy Ghost? That's right. You men are backward. Mm -hmm. You run to Bible institutes in your country that's owned by a church in America. That's right. That's right. And because you have such admiration for this wicked country. Mm -hmm. To have such admiration for the TV evangelists that you see from America. That's right. You want to talk like them. Amen. You want to sound like them. Mm -hmm. You want to act 
like them. That's right. Never stop to consider mm -hmm. do they have the Holy Ghost? They have the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. You think because they have a mega church mm -hmm. that means they got the Holy Ghost. No. Uh, no. You think because they drive a Rolls Royce mm -hmm. or got a mansion right. that or got private jets That's right. that means they are blessed. Mm -hmm. no. No, no. No, no. Hallelujah. No, no. No. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. God don't care about your jet. That's right. God don't care about your car. That's right. God don't care about your bank account. Thus saith the Lord. God wants you to have the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Take God. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Have you received? Have you received the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost. Since ye believed. Since. Glory to God. Since ye believed. All that reading you're doing. Mm -hmm. We're running to you. Running to you. That's right. You're doing all this reading. Mm -hmm. Studying. Mm -hmm. So many PhDs and DDs of religion yes, yes. write books and then send it to me right, yeah. with a letter attached. Right. Dear Pastor Jennings, I wrote this book. We ask you to read it and then give us your approval. Let us know what you think. I think nothing of it. Nothing of it. That's right. I believe what's already written. That's right. That's right. Whatsoever things are written aforetime is written, written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have, might have hope. That's right. I believe what's written here. That's it. That's it. Go ahead, brother. America. Go ahead. Go ahead. And you preachers that is in this country. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man. You have your Bentley. Yeah. You have your rows. Mm -hmm. You have your mansion. That's right. But do you have God? Do you have God? That's right. You may say, look at my building. Mm -hmm. Look at all these people. Right. That's proof mm -hmm. that I have God. Yes. That is not proof. No. Jesus had 12. That's right. That's right. Only 12. Only 12. But truth was among that 12. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. You got to have truth there. That's it. That's right. What good is having thousands of followers? Mm -hmm. But yet they are plants that my heavenly father has not, not planted. Has not planted. That's right. What kind of greenhouse yes. do you have? That's right. Go ahead, brother. What kind of plants? Go ahead. It's coming out of that house. That's right. That's right. Yet I had planted. Do you hear the word? In Jeremiah chapter 2 and at verse 21. It is written. Yet I had planted thee. God says, I have planted thee. A noble vine. A noble vine. Holy. What, what kind of vine? Holy. What kind of plant did he plant? Holy. Baptist. Holy. Presbyterian. Holy. Pentecostal. Holy. Apostolic. Holy. Non-denominational. Holy. Fire baptized. Holy. Christian science. Holy. Lutheran. Holy. Episcopalian. Holy. Catholic. Holy. Mormon. Holy. Muslim. Holy. Holy. Jehovah Witness. Holy. Amen. What Amen. kind of plant did God plant? Holy, a right seed. What, what kind of seed is a holy plant? A right seed. Everything else is a wrong seed. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Do you hear what the word of God said? Yet I had planted thee. I, now, the Lord said, mm. not Pastor Jennings. No. The Lord said, yet I, I had planted thee. I let you know he's a husband man. That's right. He's the planter. That's right. Go ahead, brother. He's the planter. Go ahead. That's right. He said, I, I had planted have thee. planted thee. A noble vine. A noble vine. Holy. Holy. A right seed. A right 
see. How then? Oh, now you're asking a question. How then? I want to ask you, viewer. Mm -hmm. How then? Art thou turned? You have turned. Into the degenerate You plant. have become a degenerate plant. Of a strange vine unto me. You grew the wrong way. Grew the wrong way. That's right. That's right. Look at what have happened to churches. Yes. Go ahead. Look at what have happened to religion. That's right. Truth been planted by God. Right. Truth been ordained by God. That's right. But men have come along Go ahead. and artificially plant things. That's right. Go ahead. Now the followers mm. are the victims. Amen. Amen. The Lord says, I, I had planted, have thee, planted thee a noble vine. <coughs> he planted something right. Right. That's right. But men have went to seminary school mm -hmm. studying theology. That's that's it. That's right. Studying philosophy. Philosophy. That's right. So when you study philosophy and theology, beware. Now you set up Bible schools. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Which is an extinction in educated lives. That's all. That's right. You feel proud mm -hmm. the day you graduate. Amen. You got your little cheap cat in your baggy gown. That's right. And Dr. Reverend Lucifer mm -hmm. become the spokesperson for that day. That's right. Go ahead, brother. And he tell you you finish your course. Mm -hmm. Now you are a doctor. A doctor. So you take bishop off your building mm -hmm. or pastor off your building. Mm -hmm. And then put up doctor. Doctor. That's right. I heard one man, a Muslim minister, mm -hmm. he said the prophet title or the title prophet was too cheap for him. Uh, my Lord. He said he's bigger than that. Mm. My Lord. The title prophet, mm -hmm. he said it's too cheap for him. My Lord. It wasn't too cheap for Jesus. No, it wasn't. So how is it too cheap for you? That's right. God had no, said. No, it's the other way around. You're too cheap to have the title. That's right. That's right. That's right. Viewers, don't get caught up in no preacher because he's called doctor this or evangelist the other or apostle this or prophet that or bishop the other. That's right. That's right. Except the Lord build the, build house. the house. Build the house. Labor in vain. You men mm -hmm. that call yourself pastors, yes. shepherds. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man. Are you shepherding God's flock? Yes. That's right. Or are you leading the people for your personal gain? That's right. That's right. Woe be unto the pastor. Glory to God. In Jeremiah 23 and at verse 1. It says what? Woe be unto the pastors. Woe. We're running to you. Amen. Do you hear the word talking? Woe be unto the pastor. Woe unto the pastor. That destroy. And scatter the sheep of my pastor, saith, saith the Lord. This is what they make this preaching thing is. Mm -hmm. A fellow will get upset with a bishop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And then when he run out, he go home. Yeah. And then he'll call a bunch of other fellas who got the same feelings he got and then start a church. That's right. And then somebody in his house get upset with him. Right. And he go run out, go rent a hotel room, he start a church. That's right. Then someone get upset with him. Mm -hmm. They go run out, go rent the YWCA, and they start a church. Amen. And it just keep going on. It keeps going. You just can't open up churches like you open up a gas station. That's right. That's right. This is not a game. No, no. 
And until men respect mm -hmm. the danger yeah. that's right. That's right. that is in love, that's right. You won't have men who respect the danger rushing toward the nation. Amen. That's right. See, some of you watching me now, you've been ordained by women. My Lord. Been ordained by a woman preacher. That's right. You ain't no preacher. It's not a preacher. God ain't never sent a woman no. that lay hands on you no. and ordained you. No way. Not once. No, no. Amen. That's right. Some of you say you're a preacher only because you got a license. Mm -hmm. License don't make you a preacher. No. no. You can have a license that can't drive. That's right. That's right. You got to have God in you. That's it. That's right. When God is in the messenger, mm -hmm. then he have a justifiable message. That's right. And then God can give the increase. Mm -hmm. So the plants mm -hmm. can grow. Can grow. That's right. You see, when God give the increase, the plants mm -hmm. that is in the church, mm -hmm. light shine upon them. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. They lift their head when the sun shine upon them. Yeah. And the light of God come within them and they grow. That's right. That's right. Fitly framed together, yeah. groweth mm -hmm. as a holy temple unto the Lord. I have planted. But the condition of the church, mm -hmm. you people right. that are watching, mm -hmm. especially you that brag about the title apostolic, yes. you are a dying people. That's right, degenerate. You have become mm -hmm. a degenerate plant. Degenerate. Let me show you how degenerate you have become. Mm -hmm. Teach, brother. Put it out. You argue over stupid things like a church name. All right. That's right. That's right. There is only one name that identifies us. Amen. The name of the Lord Jesus. That's it. Whatsoever you do. Whatsoever you do. That's it. If I say that. Church of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. The church by the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. The church from, from. the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. The church in, in. the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. That's whatever you do. Take it down to the south. Take it down. I can listen to what I'm telling you. That's right. Whatsoever you do. Bring it on. We become degenerates. Yes. yes. That's right. Go ahead. Dreams. That's right. And some say, oh, if you ain't got the exact name I got, you ain't in the body. In the body. So what the bishops are doing, mm -hmm. they have made their organization mm -hmm. the church. That's right. That's right. No man's organization is the church. That's right. The church is bigger than an organization. Oh, uh, yes. Bigger. That's right. Oh, uh, yes. That's right. I got the church covered the four corners of the yes, earth. That's right. He said he's going to present to himself yes. a glorious organization. Glorious church. No, a glorious organization. Glorious church. Glorious. He's coming for a glorious church, a glorious people. Glorious church. And listen at what I'm about to tell you. Mm -hmm. Your apostle mm -hmm. cannot mm -hmm. be the chief apostle. That's right. No man That's right. can be the chief apostle. That's right. The only one that was the chief was Jesus. Jesus. That's right. Peter, James, and John was called chiefest. Apostles. Apostles, meaning they were in reputation. That's right. I am not the chief apostle. No. Take it off. No, no. Mm -mm. No, no. No. Oh, no. I only can be an apostle. That's right. But I can't be the chief. That's right. No, no. You come along and say you're chief now, you're too late. Oh, yeah. Chief already was here. Title already taken. Already taken. Title's already taken. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. 
how you read. Take heed how you hear. Hallelujah. Rules and doctrine. Right. Glory to God. Rules differ. That's right. Doctrine don't change. That's right. That's right. Rules in many organizations mm -hmm. have nothing to do with salvation. That's right. And because others are not doing what another organization have done, that organization frowned upon them. Right. There are differences of administration. Do you hear it? In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and at verse 5. Do you hear it? And there are differences of administration. Now, there's difference mm -hmm. in administration. But the same Lord. But even though you may differ in administ ad ad administrative rules. Right. But those rules better not conflict with the doctrine of the Lord. That's right. That's right. Some of you mm -hmm. say uh, the women, they can't be saved if they wear more than five colors. Mm -hmm. If you wear more than five colors, you are the devil. My Lord. He say the brothers, mm -hmm. you only can wear suits with no print. Right. If you got a stripe, you go to hell. If you got a plaid, you go to hell. Mm -hmm. And if your sock is any other color but white, you go to hell. My Lord. All right. Mm. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, "The poor right. you have which always." always. What about if a poor man all he got is a pair of plaid pants and a striped shirt and no shoes and no socks? Is he gonna go to hell barefooted? My Lord, pay attention. Pay attention of what you put people in hell for. That's right. That's right. Keep running, brother. Run to him. Run good. I wanna run to you. Run to you. That's right. Some of you won't accept me because there's a stripe in my shirt. There's a print my Lord. in my tie. My Lord. And you said he's a false prophet. A false prophet. Because a man of God mm -hmm. won't wear a print. Mm. Then what was Joseph? That's right. He had a coat of many, many colors. colors. That's right. Go ahead, brother. I want to run to you. Run to you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Rules and doctrine. Mm -hmm. Doctrine is written divinely inspired law. That's right. That's doctrine. That's right. Can't touch it. Can't touch it. Can't change it. Mm -hmm. You must repent. That's right. You must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You must receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Right. Jesus Christ is the one God. That's right. That's right. Get into doctrine. Mm -hmm. Rules. Mm -hmm. Service start at 11.30. All right. right. All right. That's right. Rules. Men on one side, women on the other. Right. That's right. That's rule. Differences of administration. They have nothing to do with doctrine. No. We separate the brothers from the sisters for respectable purposes. That's right. You know, because there's some women come in and may not be born again, and there may be a brother who mm -hmm. may try to be born again, mm -hmm. and we don't want them to have no earthly distraction. Right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. That's right. I want to run to you. Run into you. Mm -hmm. Will you go to hell if you're not separated? No. No. No, no. It's just a rule. Just the rule. It's not doctrine. That's right. When you come in here, no usher ain't going to argue with you because you want to sit with your man or sit with your... Go ahead and sit. That's right. Go ahead. 
We don't compel you. No. No, no. When guests come in, they want to sit together, fine. Mm -hmm. Sit together, as long as you get the word of God in you. That's it. That's right. Differences of administration. Difference mm -hmm. of administration. But the same Lord. Glory to God. And hold it. Mm -hmm. Difference in administration. Rules. Right. Rules. When I go to other parts of the world, mm -hmm. I'm exposed to various cultures. Mm -hmm. Our brothers and sisters in India mm -hmm. are not a wealthy people. Right. 99.9 .9 of them, when they come to service, mm -hmm. there's no shoes on their feet. That's right. Barefooted. Right. Some just have flip flops. Mm -hmm. Some don't even have that. Feet dirty. I can't tell them you're going to hell because you can't afford a shoe. No. Jesus said the poor, you have what you always. always. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Some of your organizations said if a woman's stocking is not cotton, yeah. she's lost. lost. <laughs> My Lord. A cotton stock can have nothing to do with salvation. That's right. It was a rule. It was a rule. But what about those who can't even afford a sock? That's right. That's right. Would you tell them they're going to hell mm -hmm. because they can't afford a sock? My Lord. Rend your heart and not your garment. Do you hear the word talking? In Joel chapter 2 and at verse 13. And rend your heart. Rend. You see in the old time you had to tear your garment and cover yourself in sackcloth and ashes. That's right. Which shows humility. Mm -hmm. But now God is taking the church to a higher level. That's right. He wants to push aside the formality, the shadow. Shadow. And now he wants them to demonstrate the good thing to come. That's it. That's right. He said what? Rend your heart and not your garments. Rend your heart. Mm -hmm. He wants your heart torn. That's it. You see, you preachers got it backward. Mm -hmm. You try to get the people dressed right and then saved afterward. That's it. No. no. The heart got to get right first. That's right. That's right. They let modesty fall in place. Mm -hmm. That's right. When a sinner come in the church where the word is being preached mm -hmm. and that woman come in with pants, let her come in. Right. Don't throw her out. That's right. You don't change the sermon and pick her out. Pick her out. And start now just talking about her. Go ahead. You're not in the spirit. That's right. Just focus on the word. That's it. Let the word clean her up. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Rend when the heart. word clean her up, then she'll make a change That's from it. the heart. That's it. That's right. Glory to God. Rend your heart and not your garments. Difference. Mm -hmm. Of administration. Of administration. Differences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. When I go to Africa, I see all kind of prints down there. Mm -hmm. Big circles, big plans. Yellow, orange, they, they, they come into the house of God and whatever they got. Whatever they have, that's right. Don't have much, mm -hmm. but worshiping God in spirit. And in truth. And in truth. And in truth. If I was arrogant and self-centered mm -hmm. and was ignorant of the book, I'd go put him in hell. Yes, you would. That's right. Because they, don't, they can't afford a stocking right. or can't afford a shoe. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Difference. Differences of administrations. Differences. So what happened among you so-called apostolics? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man. You say you will be the colors of God. This is what they said. That's what the they colors say. of God is white, mm -hmm. black, brown, gray, and blue. Mm. Those are the colors of God. Colors of God. No, they are the colors of your organization. That's right. It's like a university, a football team. They got their own colors. Amen. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
You say the colors of God? What about the rainbow that appeared in Noah's day? That's right. That's right. Go ahead. And that was handmade by God. That's right. I want to educate you so you can get off your horse of arrogance. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I want to run to you today. Run to you. Heard him read. Huh? That's right. Many lack understanding. Mm -hmm. So what happened? Someone had come in the assembly who don't look like them. That's right. And then church people shot them. Yes. Amen. Mistreat them. Yes. Go ahead, brother. One woman may come in with earrings. Yeah. Before she walked in, the preacher was preaching about faith. Mm -hmm. But the moment she walked in, mm -hmm. he changed the whole sermon and just talked about her earrings. That's right. See, if he was in the spirit, he had stay where God had him. That's right. That's right. Because in due time, God would get a hold of her. Amen. Go ahead, brother. There's a time and a purpose for everything under the sun. Under the sun. Everything. That's right. Go ahead. Why you listen to the old man? In the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, and at verse 5, which say, stand by thyself. This is the how you church people get. Mm-hmm. A woman coming to church with pants on. Mm -hmm. A woman may come in with shorts on. Yeah. She don't know no better. That's right. Don't have nothing on her head. Come on in here. Mm -hmm. Got her lips painted, earrings big as my jacket. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Come on in here, girl. That's it. Hair dyed orange. Hair dyed red. Mm -hmm. Come on in here. Come on in. That's right. Go ahead. Come on in here. Go ahead. Go ahead. What did he say there? Which say, stand by thyself. Yeah, verse. Isaiah 65 and at verse 5. This is the way the church people get. Which most of them, and most of them that are like this are apostolic nuts. That's right. 